a while ago I bought this cheap oscilloscope multimeter and I'm quite happy with this. So it allows you to quickly look at the waveform, uh, whether the signal is there and clean or whatnot, just quickly get uh, an impression on what's going on. So this is a great tool to have for that purpose. But what I really dislike about this is, is that it consumes batteries like crazy. Like uh, it takes three AA batteries and this gives you seven hours uh, roughly runtime because it draws 200 milliamps constantly and this is a lot. And uh, what's making this even worse is that it doesn't save your settings. So you can't just quickly turn it off and on again because after that uh, you will have lost all settings and you have to set again your time-based trigger settings or whatnot. So uh, that's really annoying. And yeah, so my first thought was, uh, yeah, why not uh, open it up and uh, put, for example, a USB-C socket in here to power that thing. And yeah, while this would be okay, it would also be a bit cumbersome because I would have to drill a hole into the enclosure and probably wouldn't look that nice. And uh, therefore I built this, which is uh, a USB-C battery, you could say. So you have here a USB-C connector and uh, one screw terminal sticking out here. Uh, this is the plus terminal and one screw terminal a bit recessed, which is the minus terminal. And you can simply put that in here and use it as a battery replacement. And uh, this works really great in uh, combination with my, <laughs> let's say, universal power bank that I use for everything, for soldering, for uh, my power drill, uh, whatnot. And uh, yeah, I can simply plug it in here and uh, this thing runs forever uh, from this power bank. And if it's empty, I just recharge it, uh, no big deal. And uh, another advantage compared to rechargeable AA batteries is that I only have to take care of this one power bank and nothing else because uh, I know myself if I put rechargeable batteries in here they will be empty almost all the time when I need this tool so uh, yeah this won't happen with this power bank which is quite nice and of course you uh, not only uh, can use a power bank you can use a USB-C power supply you could even power this from your uh, USB-C laptop which is also a nice option so it gives you lots of flexibility in how to power this device. The way this works is uh, really simple, <laughs> like it's just a 3D printed uh, part and uh, in here you can see uh, it's a standard USB-C socket, uh, I bought it uh, yeah, separately and uh, all you need to do is to simply wire a 5.1k resistor to the uh, CC lines of the USB-C socket and then once you connect the socket you will get five volts out of it and yeah then a minus terminal connects to this screw a plus terminal to this screw and that's all there is to it and there's one thing to note um, this outputs five volts and uh, normally with three double A's you would get 4.5 so uh, it's a bit uh, above the specs I would say but uh, for most of the devices uh, this should be okay because uh, almost no uh, logic uh, devices run or directly from 4.5 volts there's in most cases a LDO regulator in front of that and these certainly can handle a half a volt more from this device so it should be safe in most cases but uh, better check whether your device uh, could support this as well. And a simple check, uh, something that I did with my multimeter was that I connected the bench supply, started at 4.5 volts, looked at the current, which was 200 milliamps, and then slowly increased the voltage and uh, while keeping close uh, attention to the current. And uh, if it stays roughly constant, then you can be pretty certain that you have a, a regulator in there. And so you should be safe to go half a volt above what you should put in there normally. Few more words uh, regarding this multimeter. 
So like I said, uh, I actually like it quite a bit um, because it's uh, really uh, fills, fills a nice gap. So uh, definitely won't replace your uh, desktop oscilloscope, that's for sure. But if you just want to have a quick look whether the signal levels are okay, whether there's a signal at all, uh, whether the baud rate is correct, uh, yada yada, all these quick checks, you don't actually need, uh, I don't know, 500 euro uh, bench uh, oscilloscope for. You can easily uh, use uh, something like this to just quickly look whether everything is as expected or not. And this is really uh, nice to have, especially in my case, I don't have an oscilloscope on my desk all the time, so I have to pull it out of storage uh, every time, and this is really cumbersome. But this is simply sitting in one of my drawers, and I can pick it up and uh, just measure what's going on and put it back in there. So really simple, and I really like that. Yeah, all right, that would be all from my side. Hope you enjoyed uh, having a look at this simple hack of this uh, tool, which could also be used, of course, for other uh, battery powered devices. And yeah, as always, uh, happy to hear your rebuilds in the comments. All right, thanks again. Bye.